Hi mates, uh, welcome again to the Patreon. Uh, today's video is about which figures I recommend to start uh, in the miniature painting world. It's focus on those of you that are starting in the hobby or wanting to practice with easy models of different types, powering your skills and making the learning process easier. There are a lot of people that tell me, David, this figure is too simple to learn. But really, I don't know anyone that learns to ride a bike descending a mountain at maximum speed. First, you go to the park with your super wheels and slowly learn to ride the bike and later, when you are uh, confident with that, you go to the mountain. That's because my recommend... <clears throat> That's the reason because my recommendation is to learn with an easy figure where you can learn and improve skills that, in many cases, aren't even intellectual skills. They are just motor skills. Like when you are a kid and, and in the school they teach you uh, how to paint inside the area of the drawings. You are learning that uh, some kind of fine motor skill that allows you in the future to develop your aptitudes. And it's going to be easier if you start with easy elements that that is, you start with complex elements. So as I said, my personal recommendations are the following. There are many scales when we want to start painting uh, and many brands. So if I wanted to start painting small scales, like 30 millimeters, I would start painting a Space Marine because our big miniatures, despite of the fact that are 30 millimeters, especially now with his latest Space Marine primaries that are even bigger than the previous ones. The volumes are very basic, with big surface to, uh, to, to paint over them and few details. Not too much to make you crazy, but enough to challenge you to improve. These figures are very easy to find and cheap if you buy the boxes, because are just 3 or 4 euros uh, per miniature in a 10 model box or something like this. And there are also collectibles or easy to build boxes that are even cheaper than the, the core ones. Another option is to buy different brands, but in example, uh, I wouldn't try to learn with Infinity models like this one we have painted in the Patreon. I have painted some Infinity models and all of them are complex with too many elements and plates to line and define, and it's difficult to finish them with a decent result. Nevertheless, could be a good choice to boost the skill uh, once we have established our skill base to a minimum. Another option are the Infinity figures from Disney that are from a game of Wii or PlayStation, I don't, I don't know, uh, but can, al can also be purchased on Amazon individually and are a cheap option to start. Once again, they have very easy volumes, easy to recognize and to paint <clears throat> without necessity of dexterity. The size is big, especially if we compare them with the Space Marine, and also the parts are exaggerated, very cartoony, with big hands, big feet, arms, everything very rounded. They have also very, very few details, great to practice, uh, to practice textures, strokes, uh, because it's like having a black canvas. If you won't like to paint an entire figure, or want to try big, uh, bigger scales, you have the busts. You can find this is for marketing purpose, but nothing further. I like the bust from Alfonso, Anonymous 1 and 2, and I'm going to explain why there's two and not the, the other one. Both have some easy peculiarities that can be very useful for be beginners. The first is that are great to do conversion with them because they are very neutral in aspect. The second part, and in this case I think I will keep this one as the best option, is that there is uh, there are uh, a lot of, uh, of versions painted of this bust. I think this is the most painted miniature of, of the last 20 years and with more versions, so if you are starting to paint, you can start by copy, cop uh, copying other artists and versions because it's a great exercise to understand techniques, colors, etc. This bust is also small compared to other busts. It's true, it's big if we compare it, uh, compare it with the Space Marine, but compared to other models or busts, uh, it's not too big. Something that you will think if you are not habituated to paint big figures. 
As I said, you can find a lot of versions, comments, tutorials, and many other information in the net, just by searching a bit something that makes it a great option. It's a cheap bust that I think is for 25 euros in Banshee Art Shop, and it's sculpted by a painter to be painted with no details so you can practice without being worried of them. If you want to paint vehicles, I don't have vehicles in the workshop, but if you want to paint vehicles, I would go for a Games Workshop Reno if you like sci-fi and fantasy, because they are like a box with big planes and few details, something useful to practice with uh, the Airbus, uh, for example. There are many other vehicles, but I would try to choose easy vehicles, avoid, uh, avoiding the big Gundam-like robots like Imperial Knights or, or something similar or other complex vehicles because they could be too big and difficult to finish them if we don't have any experience with them. Maybe a devil fish uh, from Chao Armies or a Chao Suit can be a good option because they are not difficult to understand vol volumes and has big surface to paint. If you don't like sci-fi or fantasy or even Game Workshop, you can always look for historical vehicles like World War II vehicles. I will try uh, on Tigers or Shermans, for example, simple tanks with very cheap models uh, and a lot of options to choose uh, a different size uh, of your interest. If you don't like tanks, you can choose uh, planes, something I like a lot. We have here the two painted by me, uh, a gif I made uh, Alfonso some months ago. And the stronger advantage is that they are very, very cheap and we can find very high quality models like Airfix or Eduard for only uh, 40 euros in a 172 scale, mm -hmm. like the ones you are watching in the screen. They will require your different levels of complexity, uh, like airbrush, uh, weathering, paneling, decals. So I think are a great option to start in the vehicle painting world if you don't want to, uh, you don't want the fantasy model or just wanted to expand, uh, to spend, sorry, less money on them. These are the figures I recommend you to start painting. Uh, it depends on your own taste, experience, objectives, things that you want to learn uh, and things you want to explore. And with taking this into account, you will choose your own, your own option. Summing up, if you want to paint vehicles, you have two options, fantasy vehicles from Game Wars of War, like Rhinos, uh, or historical vehicles like tanks and planes, that both are good options. If you want to paint figures, uh, go for uh, Space Marines if you want small figures, and if you want to start pay, boosting your skills, you can go for Infinity Models or other more complex figures that allows you, allows you to challenge uh, yourself to improve your motor dexterity. If you want bigger scales, go for Disney Infinity because they are cheap and cool to paint. In fact, uh, you will see uh, this tour painted in a near future by Afonso. And if you want to paint busts, uh, those two from Afonso are great options, as I said. But if you don't like this bust, you can choose uh, from other brands. But what I recommend to you is to look for easy busts like an atomic bust or something similar but avoiding complex figure with many details that could be a nightmare for us uh, when starting the hobby. I hope I have given you useful options to start painting, start improving and to enjoy painting, something that usually is related to improve because it's common to improve when you are enjoying something and to enjoying something when you are improving, but not so common to improve if you hate what you are doing. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye guys!